putting an end to sexual assaults on campus. The University of Lynchburg is the only college in the Commonwealth to get federal money for that initiative this year. 10 News reporter Magda Lusant is live at the school tonight. So Magda, what exactly uh, is it that they are working on there? Well, John, for the next three years, the university plans on using the money given by the Department of Justice to not only deal with sexual assaults on campus, but uh, domestic and domestic and dating violence, as well as stalking. University of Lynchburg is one of 57 colleges across the country who received a new grant to advocate for victims of sexual assault and other violent crimes. You know, they do a good job of keeping the numbers low as we've seen like in the past but you know there's still instances and cases um, where they have room for improvement. University officials agree too. The efforts that we are putting forth currently are strong um, but we when we wrote the grant we were able to identify a number of weaknesses that the grant could help to fulfill as well. Right now, students can choose to report an incident anonymously or to school officials to have it investigated. A near $300,000 grant will allow the school to partner with 12 departments on campus, Lynchburg Police, the YWCA, and the Commonwealth Attorney's Office, as well as hire a victim advocate who will work with several organizations to help shift the campus culture. And that's stuff that we've already been doing as far as the culture shift, um, but to have somebody where that's their, their sole job, I think that's phenomenal. The university just released their security report. In the last year, numbers show violent crimes have gone down. In 2016, there were eight reported sexual assaults and rapes. Last year, there were six. Domestic violent cases in 2016 and 2017 were low, seeing one report in those years. There were also nine dating violent incidents in 2016. That number dropped to two in 2017. And stalking cases were high with 10 in 2016. 2017, there were four. And I hope that our students are will be able to see a change um, as soon as, as early as next semester. Novell won't receive the grant money until January of next year. In the meantime, school officials are working on a description for the victim advocate position, and they hope to have that filled by the end of this year. Live in Lynchburg, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.